Praise the living God of Israel. Amen, amen, and amen. Friends, I'm happy to be with you today on this Friday on the Shabbat. This is going to be a very important broadcast. I'm happy to speak with you, to talk with you, to release the glory of God, to prophetically release some revelation intel, just a word of the Lord. Because His word is life, amen. His word is power. His word is everything. So I'm happy to see you all. Let me know where you're watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Praise God. I'm live here in Indianapolis. And it's the first time I'm ever here in this city and in this state. So I'm happy to be here. So let me know where you're watching from. Praise God. Uh-huh. It's going to be a prophetic broadcast, but I want to declare over you, God's about to show up and show off. He's always saved his best miracles for last. And the Lord's going to do something in our days that's going to make the world be in awe. Truly the terror of the Lord, the fear and the terror of God is going to come upon us. And what God's about to do in these coming days, it's going to be so shocking that uh, even newscasters, media, news channels, they're, not, they're gonna be in unbelief because of what God's about to do. So I wanna declare the word of the Lord over you today. Let me know where you're watching from. Like I said, I'm happy to be here in Indianapolis, Indiana. It's the first time I've ever come to the state, this city. So I'm expecting great things, amen. Hello there, Colleen from High River, Alberta, Canada. Bless you, Kansas City. Kansas, OZ, I don't know what OZ is. Texas, bless you, Prophet Luis, Shalom, Chanel, bless you, Colleen from South Africa, God bless you. Yes, yes, yes. Continue to build up the room, hey there D, from Connecticut, Jersey, Washington DC, awesome. I see East Coasters into his house here. Praise the Lord, New York City, wonderful. Uh, I'm happy to see some East Coasters coming in strong here. Continue to build up the room. Give us some hearts and likes. Amen. Let me know where you are watching from. Praise God. Lori, what's up from Tennessee? I'm happy because uh, we are working on getting me to Kentucky um, in the next month or two months. And most likely I'll be able to stop into Tennessee. So I'm very excited about that. Hi there, Diana uh, De La Riva. God bless. Awesome. Wheat Ridge and Denver. Colorado, awesome, wonderful. We got Colorado in the house, praise God. Dallas, Texas, wonderful. I had a wonderful time in Dallas this last weekend. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Continue to let us know where you're watching. Lindewe from Durban, South Africa. I miss South Africa, honestly. I wish I was back in South Africa. I wish I was going to South Africa this year. So let's see. The year is still young. It's not over yet, amen. Sharabatirabatsa, Robosota. Come on, let me know where you're watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord. Miami, awesome. You know, I'm going to be in Miami this coming weekend, next weekend. Amen. I hope to see you. Miami and Fort Lauderdale. I'm very excited about that first time ever ministering in the East Coast of Florida. So <clears throat> we hope to see you there. Come to Colorado. Uh, we had a number of weeks of Colorado in a while, so praying that the Lord opens up another door. Cypress, hello there. Praise God. Praise God. Amen, amen, and amen. Well, lift up your hands. Let's get into this. Father, I thank you for the glory of God and everything that you're doing in this time and in this season. Jesus, I thank you that you are King, that you are Lord. Amen. Father, I thank you right now from the top of our head to the sole of our feet on this Friday on this Shabbat, that you are releasing the power and the glory of God. So come upon us in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for all that you're doing in the mighty name of Jesus. All of God's people say amen. Well, friends, like I said, I'm here in Indiana, Indianapolis. I'm actually not ministering this weekend. So I'm happy to catch a little bit of rest and just connect with some folk. And as well, amen, I'm happy to uh, support some friends here in this area, this region for their conference. Uh, next week, I'll be in Miami and Fort Lauderdale, so come and see me. And then first weekend of May, we're gonna be in Santa Maria, California with the one and only Steve Swanson, worship 
artist, leader, extraordinaire. So that's going to be powerful. So friends, we're almost crossing over into May. May Day, May Day. And of course, we're a couple of days away from Passover. April 22nd begins Pesach, Passover. And I'm believing there's going to be Passover miracles in our lives. Can I get an amen? There's going to be a release of the Pesach anointing. And because it's Passover, because it's the head of the year, the new year, because we just stepped into a new month, of course, there are shakings. As the glory of God's being released, there's also deliverance, there's also shakings, there's an awakening, there's exposure. And uh, the kingdoms of the world are becoming judged and will become the kingdom of our God. I need you to pray with me today, amen. So I feel that God wants you to get ready for the greatest miracle of your life. Can I prophesy over you today? Yes, I will. Thanks for uh, answering this rhetorical question. The Lord is going to shock you. The, there's going to be such a speedy anointing. So I, I declare access anointing. God's giving you access. God's giving you speed. There's going to be speed. There's going to be power. There's going to be access. And what God is doing is he's connecting. Listen, I'm speaking to you prophetical right now. But the Lord is connecting the dots from here, there, north, east, south, and west. The Lord is connecting the dots from everywhere for your breakthrough. I want to declare over your miracle is on the way. Come on, in this Passover season, you better pull on the Lord. You better be expecting. Don't even look back. Don't look back. Otherwise, you might become a pillar of salt like Lot's wife in the deliverance of Sodom and Gomorrah. But God is delivering. God is rescuing. God is speeding up. There's an expedition. There is an expediting anointing. And I want to declare right now that God is beginning to speed up your miracle, your breakthrough. He's fast forwarding you. He's putting you in the fast lane. Favor is catching you up to speed. God is accelerating in the name of Jesus. I want you to come. I want you to come acceleration because in this month of April, in this appointed time of Passover, there's a spirit of acceleration, winds of change that are coming upon you. Can I get amen? And as the Lord is accelerating, the enemy is also accelerating. As the Spirit of God is breathing with winds of change, the enemy is also accelerating his demonic plans, but we destroy it, every demonic device, in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. He karabasa. So we are in days of acceleration. We're days of unusual miracles, unusual shifts, unusual change. Amen. I mean, what, what a shocking phenomenon that the man of God, God's general, Jerry Savelle, one of God's generals just passed away earlier this week. Somebody say suddenly. There suddenly is taking place. And the Bible says whenever a general is taken up to heaven, that it becomes a sign of the times. It's a sign unto the righteous. It's a sign. Someone say signs. Come on, I want you to comment signs and wonders. God is releasing signs and wonders in this season. Listen, acceleration, a speeding, a speeding up and expedient anointing. They're shaking, but there's also signs and wonders. So today, as you're tapping in, I want to declare over you, God's about to shock you. He's about to show up and show off. Somebody say amen. In this season of Passover, in this season of Pesach, get ready for God to split, open the Red Sea in two and a half, and you are going to leave with plunder. You're going to leave with suddenly. You're going to leave with recompense and payback and overflow in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Now, some of you watching, you might say, Dr. Ben, this sounds too good to be true. Let me tell you, when you position yourself for breakthrough, you will step into greater breakthrough. You're stepping into a season and a realm called no return. You're stepping into a season and a realm called no return, where you're going to keep going from glory to glory. You're launching forward. In fact, even now, I see angels of acceleration being released to you. Come on, lift up your hands. I see breakthrough strategy. Some of you watching right now, you need revelation. You need strategy. You're saying, God, I need breakthrough in my life. I need breakthrough in my finances and my ministry. But there is revelation knowledge, breakthrough strategy, breakthrough ideas that's coming to you right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, God is spe speeding it up. He is speeding up his movement, his fire, and his power. Let me declare over you that even as we step into Passover, which is April 22nd, in a couple of days, in a few days, that begins the counting of the Omer. All right, now, what is the counting of the Omer? It is the counting of wheat 
unto the harvest, the fullness of harvest. Somebody say fullness. Let me declare over you, friends. There's going to be miracles, signs, and wonders. There's going to be a harvest because Passover is a harvest festival. And we're stepping into a, a moment, a window of harvest. And some of you are saying, Dr. Ben, I don't like what I'm harvesting. I don't like what I'm saying. Let me tell you, every delay and sabotage, every locust, canker worm, palmer worm is being destroyed. And the Lord's releasing fire. Shah! And there's a release of expedient blessing of harvest. But you see, from the beginning of Passover, April 22nd, it's a counting of the Omer, 49 days of miracles. Somebody say amen. 49 days, the Omer in the Hebrew means wheat. And so it is the counting of the Omer unto Pentecost. Somebody say amen. Now, I need you to hear me right now and forgive me for sweating because I just finished my workout and preaching is like a workout. Amen. But let me tell you, from Passover to Pentecost, Pentecost, Pentateuch, Shavuot, the Feast of Trumpets, where there is a release of the trumpet shofar sound. There's a release of harvest. Somebody say amen. The release of the word of the Lord. Bang, bang. So from, uh, from Passover to Pentecost, Shavuot, 49 days count down to breakthrough. Count down to greater glory. Count down to greater harvest. Somebody say amen. Let me tell you, friends, God wants you to be excited to be in faith because there's a greater glory and a greater harvest that's coming to you. Somebody say amen. Listen, today I want to talk to you about unusual miracles. Amen. I want to talk to you about unusual miracles because we're in a season of Passover and we are in a season where God is transferring. Say transferring. Where God is transferring Wisdom, strategy, breakthrough, impartation, miracles, financial breakthrough. God is transferring the deed of the land to your bosom. So we're in a season right now, even as the man of God, General Jerry Savelle, one of the word of faith generals, just went home to be with the Lord. There's a transference of mantles. There's a void in the spirit. There is a void in the spirit where God is wanting to release, impart, and transfer. Somebody say amen. Somebody say, I receive it. Now listen, I want to talk to you about this. And before we get into this word about God is shocking you, he's about to shock the world. Listen, I want you to begin to give us some hearts and likes and share. Tag somebody, tag an intercessor friend, somebody who needs to hear this because this is a prophetic broadcast. This is a glory broadcast and there are people in Jesus name that need to hear this word. Somebody say amen. Now, let's go to the Word of God here. I love this passage. I love this passage. Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 5. Amen. Look among the nations and see. Wonder and be astounded. For I'm doing a work in your days. Someone say, my days. I'm doing a work in your days that you will not believe if it was told. Come on, somebody. I need you to clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. The angels are blowing against and among the Mamre trees. There are winds of change. There are angels that are flowing and moving in Jesus' name. Look among the nations and see. Wonder and be astounded, for I am doing a work in your days that you will not believe if told. Somebody say, I receive it. Listen, people of God, what God's about to do in your life, people are not going to believe it. What the Lord's about to do, what God is doing right now, this is astonishing. Listen, whatever the heck is going on with Israel, whatever's going on with Biden, what's going on in America, the United States, are you kidding me? Friends, we are in the brink of World War III. In fact, many people say we are in World War III, right? Now that I think today or yesterday, Israel actually shot back missiles to Iran. So now there is a retaliation of going back and forth. So we are literally in the beginning, the brink of World War III. Russia, Ukraine, Israel, China making moves onto Taiwan. And you see all these nations are in an uproar. All these nations are in, in war. But Jesus sits on the throne and he laughs at his enemies. Someone say amen. What's going on in America? An invasion, a civil war. Listen, people go, we need to pray. We need to pray. And I, I'm speaking to all the prophetic intercessors, watchmen on the wall. There is, and I've been prophesying this for years, but there is <clears throat> going to be a coming terrorist manifestation in America. 
a massive terrorist invasion manifestation. And what I see, come on, I need you to pray as I'm releasing this word. What I see is there's going to be some kind of switch or a flip, a flick, maybe with the 5G, maybe with the chips implanted. But it's really a demonic signal. It's really a demonic frequency. Who here knows that when there's a frequency, all the dogs and, and all the animals start going crazy even before us as human beings, we realize it with our human senses. But there's going to be a coming day, I believe even this year, which we need to pray against. In America, there's going to be a flip of a switch, bam, and all of a sudden, everything's going to just shift. And all, all of a sudden, these terrorists, these criminals, these cartels in America, they're going to go haywire. They're going to go psycho. They're going to go psycho. They're going to be so demonically active and engaged. They're waiting. They are literally waiting right now. Do you know even as God is waiting, the enemy's waiting? Do you know even as there's Kairos moments in the kingdom of God, there's also Kairos moments of the devil? The Bible says in Matthew chapter 4 that Satan waited for the opportune time to tempt Jesus. So there is an opportune time and what they're trying to do is of course they're attacking President Trump. They're actually attacking you and I, the American people. They're attacking Christians. What happened this week? Come on, what was a Monday with Bishop Mari Emanuel in Australia? Are you kidding me? I lived in Australia for three months. Australia, a Western so-called Christian nation, British Parliament colonial rule, and look what's going on. People are being stabbed in churches, shot in churches, places of worship. My God, come on, I need you to pray in the Holy Ghost. But what God's about to do is going to shock the world. Habakkuk 1.5. Look at the nations and watch. Are you watching, my friends? Now, some of you might say, Dr. Ben, I like to be in my little kitty corner in my little cubby hole, minding my own business. I just like to be an introvert. I'm just focused on me and my family. Blah, 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 blah. Put on my headphones. I don't care if the sky is falling. Bam, bam, bam. But look, God says, look at the nations, at the nations. Come on, somebody. The nations are at hand and you will be utterly amazed for I'm going to do something in your days. Somebody say amen. Come on. Oh, I feel the Lord right now. Lord God, that you would not believe even if you were told. Jesus, Jesus. For I will do a work in your days. I will do something in your days. I want you to comment, God's doing something. Let me encourage you, God is up to more good than the devil is down doing evil. God is up to more good. Shoo! And the Lord wants to encourage us, look and observe and you will be astounded. You're gonna be shocked. It's gonna be a pinch me, am I dreaming? Pinch me, is this real? You're gonna be so shocked because the goodness of God is gonna chase you down. It's, I'm telling you, there will be such a distinction, such a distinction between the church and the false church. The real church, the real remnant, the true bride of Jesus Christ and the world, there'll be such a distinction. It about, come on, you're, you're gonna be a testimony. You already are a testimony. The Lord is processing you to become a mega testimony. You're gonna be a soul winning testimony to all of those around you. What God's about to do in your life suddenly is gonna shock your family. It's gonna surprise your community. Come on, it's gonna be a God did it type of season, a God did it type of moment. What's gonna happen is only going to be described and explained by the hand of God. It's not my gifts, it's not my network, it's not my net worth. I'm not smart enough, I'm not good enough, I'm not connected enough. It's gonna be by the hand of God, it's gonna be by the fire of God, it's gonna be by the power of Jesus Christ. So what God's about to do in these days, it's gonna shock you, it's gonna shock the world. Are you ready for God to show up and show off? Listen, people of God, in a few minutes, I wanna to talk to you about five things that you can expect God to do because God's about to show up and show off. The Lord's about to do miracle signs and wonders in your life. In this Passover season, mark these words. Prophetically, I'm speaking to you as a prophet, as a prophetic voice, as a man of God. Mark these words. From April 22nd and on, there's gonna be such an acceleration, such a shift, such an upgrade. You're coming up higher. 
You're going up higher. Mark this word, April 22nd and beyond. There's going to be such an acceleration up to Pentecost and up to Rosh Hashanah. Bang, bang, bang. Come on. Things are going to take place. Get ready. Are you ready to be in awe? If you receive it, say amen. If you believe it, say hallelujah. Look at the nations and watch. For you will be utterly amazed. Jaw-dropping, eyes-opening. God's going to do a miracle in your life, in your family, in your ministry, in your business, in your bank account. The Lord's doing it. Can I get an amen? So I want to talk to you about five different miracles you can expect from the Lord in this season. And I felt it so strong today. I was praying. And I said, Lord, Sharabati, what's the word of the Lord? What's the word of the Lord? And God said, he's stepping into the arena. God is stepping into the arena. The line of the tribe of Judah is stepping into your situation. And he's a breaker. And God's going to break you through. He's going to break things up and down. God is a breaker. And he's stepping into your season, your situation. Can I get an amen? God is still fighting our battles. He is a defender and he, the battle belongs to the Lord. All you have to do is say yes and amen and get ready for what God's about to do. Listen, I want to declare these points over you. If you're ready to receive, say amen. Give us some hearts and likes. I'm live here from Indiana, Indianapolis. Next week, I'm going to be in Miami and Fort Lauderdale. So come and see me in Miami and Fort Lauderdale. Are you ready for God to show up and show off? God's about to shock you. Somebody say amen. Now, if you're ready to receive, just say amen. So number one, the first area that you can expect God to show up and show off is, amen, the first area you can expect for the Lord to show up and show off is actually the weather. The weather, okay? Now, first, I want to prophesy and declare corporately and then personally because it all relates to you, the church, us, the church of Jesus Christ. But there's going to be unusual things, even more so with the weather. Now, if you remember the prophetic word of April, I specifically said, I saw in a vision tsunamis. What's going on in Dubai right now? They have the worst natural disaster in Dubai that's ever taken place. A massive storm has come. Their streets are flooded. Lamborghinis, Ferraris are all flooded in Dubai. Dubai, y'all. Dubai is a desert. You ever been to Dubai? I've been to Dubai and I'm going to Dubai later this year. But look at the weather patterns. There's something unusual that's taking place with the weather. And whenever there's weather changes or patterns, it really isn't global warming or climate change. Amen. It's actually the supernatural breaking through into the natural. Remember, whenever God does something on the earth, he many times highlights weather. That's why rain is a sign of blessing. Rain can also be a sign of curse. Why? Because the whole earth was flooded. So whenever you look at the weather, you see that God is the God of weather. God is the God of climate. God is the God. He's the creator of heaven and earth. So all these things are under his authority. So we're going to see unusual signs in the weather. That's going to shock the world. Unusual signs in the weather that's going to shock the world. Somebody say amen. Second thing I believe that's going to take place that we need to be aware of. And if you're with me today, say amen. Second thing, yeah, Vicky, look at that from UAE. She's right there in UAE. And I was just talking about Dubai right now. So safety, security in Jesus' name. Second thing that we need to see that God's about to do in this season, as the Lord's about to show up and show off. Second thing is there's going to be even more shocking events in the governments of the world, the governments of the world. I see people getting exposed and being locked up. I see evil criminal activity being paraded and praised. Look at what the AG Alvin Bragg is doing in New York. This is total injustice, a weaponization of the criminal uh, system, of the justice system, justice here in America. They are weaponizing and using the law, the government against God's people, against God's children. So I see even more corruption taking place and people actually praising and parading in the White House. Look at what Biden, the Trans Visibility Day on the day of resurrection, the day where we celebrate the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior of the world. Are you kidding me? So there's going to be more shocking events in government. 
The rise and fall of kingdoms. Suddenly. Rise and fall of kingdoms. Suddenly. Someone would say amen. The third thing that you can expect in terms of God shocking you and showing up and, sh and showing off. Amen. The third thing you can expect is that there's going to be a surge of business and financial release. What I saw was certain areas. Okay, I'm here in Indiana. But what I saw was certain areas booming red hot with economy, with commerce, with financial blessing. Obviously, in America and around the world, everybody's hurting. Everybody is hurting financially, economically. The U.S. dollar is crashing. There's so much nonsense going on right now. But in midst of this nonsense and atrocity, this planned attack against the world, in midst of that, I see and I saw a surge of financial blessing and businesses actually booming. There is a business anointing in this season. People of God, I need you to listen to me because God's about to show up and show off in your business. He's about to shock the world with your business. There is a genuine business anointing for you to multiply, for you to expand, for you to have exponential blessing, increase, and return, for you to be the giver, not the receiver, the lender, not the borrower. There is a debt cancellation anointing. There is something taking place where God is anointing his children to be wealthy, to be the head and not the tail. So I believe God is about to show up or show off in your business and in your finances. Now, if you are a business owner, you, you have a small business. If you are an independent entrepreneur, I want you to comment me because I believe the Lord is releasing an anointing for you to prosper, for that thing that you're doing for you to prosper and get ready for God to show up and show off. Somebody say amen. Number four, the fourth thing I saw that in terms of this season, the fourth thing that I saw in terms of this season that we can expect God to do. Because God's about to shock the world. Look at the nations. And you'll be utterly amazed. Look at the nations. Somebody say amen. The fourth thing that I saw, amen, was that there's going to be great increase of visibility of the hidden ones. Now, I really believe this season, there's hidden ones that God's raising up. There's going to be increased influence, notoriety of the hidden prophetic voices. It's time for the hidden ones to arise. It's time for the voices to arise. And I see even more prophetic voices rising up and people are gonna say, who is this? Who are you? It's the hand of God, it's the favor of God, it's the glory of God. Remember when Moses, and this is one of the things I really wanna declare over you, remember when Moses he was a failure. He ran away for 40 years. He was a murderer. And he was hiding uh, with his father-in-law Jethro as a shepherd. But he encountered the Lord and he returned. Someone say return. He returned back to Egypt, the place where he was born and bred from. So there is a returning taking place, a returning anointing come in place. And what did Moses do? Of course, Moses confronted the enemy. Moses confronted Pharaoh and he said, let my people go. I'm telling you the nobodies are going to become a somebody. The nothings are going to become something. And God has prepared you in a secret place to rise up and to be that voice. I want to, I want to just say this prophetically. This is the most important decade that we have ever embarked upon this decade, the decade of the twenties, the decade of the 80s in the Hebrew calendar. This is the most important decade. And there's an acceleration. Shoo! Coming to God's chosen vessels. Coming to God's children. Somebody say amen. Now I want you to lift up your hands. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Because God is increasing, manifesting. He's stretching out your tent pegs. And this year... The hidden ones are going to come out of nowhere. The caves of hiding, the caves of prayer and intercession. And God's about to show up and show off. Are you ready to be shocked by God? If you receive that, I want you to say amen. Now, number five, the fifth thing that I saw, and I want to declare over you, my friends. I believe in this season, God's about to show up and show off. 
by the power of God and by the revelation of His Spirit. There is such a miracle anointing taking place. Friends, we can't trust the government. We can't trust vaccines. We can't trust science, hospital. All these entities are trying to kill us. All these people are trying to crucify us. All right, we can't trust the government. We can't trust science. We can't trust Fauci. We, come on, you cannot trust the flesh. The Bible says, cursed is the man who puts their hope in man. You must put your hope in God only. So in these days, there's going to be such a realm of miracles, deliverance, signs and wonders, supernatural provision, supernatural favor. You're stepping into a season called God did it and only God can do it. And this revelation of testimony is going to be such a testament of God's faithfulness, of God's goodness, of God's glory. God has not given up on you. God has not given up on the church. It doesn't matter what you're going through, where you are, I declare right now, as you're connecting with this grace, with this prophetic anointing today, I declare that there's going to be a greater glory, a greater anointing for miracle signs and wonders that's coming upon your life. Friends, you cannot survive or even thrive in these end times without the Holy Ghost. Are you a friend of God? Are you a friend of the Holy Spirit? We cannot even survive or thrive. We will not be able to without the power of God. And I believe in these days, there's going to be such a glory of the church, such a stark contrast of the church and the world. Someone say amen. My gosh. It's going to be a Daniel type of moment. Shabbat Nebuchadnezzar was in awe of Daniel and his three friends. Who is the God that you serve? We, we made the furnace, the fiery furnace, 10 times hotter. But not even a hair has been singed on your body and there's no smell of smoke. The fire didn't even touch you. In fact, we saw a fourth man in the fire. These are the type of miracles that's going to take place. Look at Bishop Mari Emmanuel, who just got stabbed four times in Australia. The blade did not come out. Come on, somebody. Isn't that a miracle? God provides. God protects. Jesus. And the greatest miracle, allegedly, after this attacker, assaulter, came at Bishop Mari Emmanuel, the blade did not come out. Amen. The weapon was formed, but it did not prosper. Amen. And even as the blade came out, afterwards, allegedly, Bishop Mari Emmanuel laid his hands on that man who is, was a Muslim, laid his hands on his head and prayed for him. Release forgiveness. Someone say amen. God is my deliverer. God is my deliverer. Jehovah lives. Jehovah Jireh. He is my deliverer. And I believe God's about to show up and show up with miracle signs and wonders. Your favor is going to be undeniable. Your breakthrough is going to get the whole town saved. What God's about to do with you in your life. Amen. Shanamande. Somebody say a preach talk. What God's about to do with you in your life is not just meant for you, but it's for everybody around you. You're going to be able to break off that bread, that revelation, and impart and bless, cover, give to be even more effective to all of those around you. Somebody say amen. I really believe that in these five areas, God's about to show up and show up. There's going to be signs in the sky. Number one, weather. Number two, there's going to be signs and miracles in the government. Unusual things in government, in the governments, the nations, the kingdoms of the world. Number three, unusual things with finances and business. The economies of the world, your economy, the church's economy. Number four, there is going to be such a release. Praise God. There's going to be such a release. Amen. Of the power of God, of the glory of God. And then number five, there's going to be such promotion expedient breakthrough, uplifting elevation where the hidden ones are going to be seen and visible. I want to finish with this today, friends. God has preserved and reserved his end times army. God has always saved the best for last, which means that 
if you are still hidden and maybe you're not mainstream or visible or, or as big as you know you can be, it's because God is keeping you for the right season and right moment. Remember, Joseph waited 13 years. Remember, it took David 14 plus years. It took Jesus 30 years to step into the role as Messiah, as Rabboni. There is a waiting season. Don't be discouraged in the waiting. Don't be discouraged in the test and the processing because God's about to show up and show off. And when you hit the scene, when you come on the scene, it's gonna be undeniable. It's gonna break every yoke, every barrier, every bondage. When you come up on the scene, it's gonna be the greatest show ever because the Lord of hosts is gonna show up and show off through your life. I want to say I am a conduit of grace. I want to say I am a servant of the Lord. You are God's vessel. You are God's chosen servant. Friends, the Lord's gonna do some supernatural miracles in your life. I'm telling you April 22nd and on. Get ready for the counting of the Omer. Get ready for Passover miracles, splitting of the Red Sea. God's gonna do a miracle in your life. If you believe and receive these words today, somebody say amen. Look at the nations and watch. See and wonder and be astounded. For I'm doing a work, God's doing something, a work in your days that you would not believe if you were told. God's doing something and he's about to do something that people are not gonna believe. It's gonna shock the world. Are you ready for God to show up and show up? If that's you, say amen. Lift up your hands. Father, thank you. Bless your people. I ask you for a saving grace, amazing grace, a covering grace to come upon your children. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. And Lord, I ask you, let every prophetic word that was decreed, declared today, let it come to pass and let it be fulfilled. For even as a snow is released from the heavens, his word, your word will not return void, but it will fully accomplish what you intended to do. For I'm doing a work in your day, says God, that you would not believe if you were told. Look at the nations and watch. He's doing a new thing, a new thing. God is doing a new thing. If you believe that and receive that, say amen. If you believe God's doing a new thing in your life, I want you to comment new thing. He's doing it. He's doing a work. He's doing a new thing. What new thing is he doing in your life, in your heart? What new thing is God doing all around you? It's a new level. It's a new grace. It's a new anointing. It's a new realm. Somebody say amen. People of God, it's Dr. Pastor Ben Lem. Thanks for joining me today. Please give us some hearts, likes, and share. Please follow me as well on this page. And uh, you could pray about becoming a monthly financial partner and donor through our website, benlimglobal.com. I'm here in Indiana, Indianapolis. Next weekend, I'll be in Miami and Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I love you, bless you. Shalom, Shabbat, Shalom. Continue to pray for Israel. I love you. I'll see you soon.